Hey guys and welcome or welcome back to my channel. So I'm excited. We are testing out a, a new concealer. It is from Colourpop. I'm excited for a couple reasons. One, I see the words hyaluronic acid, you know, especially if you got them drier under eyes. Okay, you've got me so far. And because I haven't had like the best experience with Colourpop complexion products. So I'm hoping, you know, this will turn that around. So if you want to know more about this concealer, then just stay tuned. So this is the Pretty Fresh Hyaluronic Creamy Concealer. This retails for $9 for 0.30 ounces this comes in 30 shades this is in the shade dark 180n fingers crossed that is the right shade y'all and let's see what they say about this concealer creamy cushiony concealer with full coverage and a fresh natural finish that lasts all day super blendable and loaded with skin loving hyaluronic acid and coconut water oil free dermatologist tested and ideal for all skin types all right so let's see what this is looking like i mean looking at it and the packaging it's probably not going to give me like super bright under eye but hopefully it's looking like it'll give me the right undertone oh i'm, I'm excited i had already done everything else we can just jump into trying it on I like the wand. I like when concealer wands are flat like this. It makes it easier. I, I really don't like when concealers have those big doe foot type applicators. Like this is not foundation, all right? I don't know if this is supposed to have some type of like cooling effect or since it just got delivered in the mail, if it's still cold from being, you know, outside on a delivery truck, but it feels cooling on the face and I'm not mad at it. Not sure how I feel about this color yet though, but. So this is it on my face straight out of the tube. It said full coverage. Granted, I didn't use that much, but if it's feeling a little bit more medium coverage, which everything so far is low key, like right up my alley. So I've got, I've got hope for you, ColourPop. Come through for you, girl. I'm not sure why, but I feel like I woke up, it's Monday. I feel like I woke up with a whole bunch of energy. Um, I'm not sure if it's because, you know, like Vlogmas starts in a few days. So like we're getting down to the wire and posting every single day is probably like the hardest challenge I've given myself so far since I've been on the internet. Um, and you know, like it's crunch time. I'm pretty much filming every single day at this point. So I'm not sure if that's why I have so much energy right now, but it's weird to me. Actually, I lied. I know why I have so much energy. I drank one of those in shorts, but like the cafe mocha ones. So I, I think it's caffeine. I feel like I know not to do that again before I start filming. Like I don't drink coffee or I cut out soda and stuff like that. So I feel like my body low key doesn't know how to react right now to the amount of caffeine that's probably in it. You know when I probably should have drank this before I filmed, when I filmed that uh, 12 minute makeup challenge video? because the, the speed that I'm moving at right now is not normal for me. Okay, so this is gonna be my face for the day. It is 1.33, it's late, I know. Okay, women's best. Um, I know, but I'm gonna go check in in a couple hours, like I don't know, two, and then come back later here tonight. Okay, we'll, we'll, we'll wait to say anything. Okay, so it is only like a two hour. TV extra loud for no reason. Um, so it's like two hours later, it's three in the afternoon. This is what my under eyes are looking like. Okay, ColourPop, okay. We're on the same page right now. I ain't got no complaints, you know, I don't feel like it's caking. I certainly can't feel it on my face, so. Okay, ColourPop. Okay, so I am back and it is now 8.48 and this is my face looking like. Listen, them lashes were not feeling my face, okay? They were not feeling it, but that's not the point of the video. The point is these concealers and y'all, Colourpop may have just done something, all right? I can't remember the last time I was like this <sighs> happy, excited, I guess. At the end of the day of my first experience with the Colourpop complexion product since the bronzer, uh, I like the bronzer from ColourPop, but the foundation that I've tried out, they've broken me out. The concealer, I, I used the concealer from time to time, but it was just one of those, you know, like I just see the first concealer. I just see you, you're around, so I'm going to use you type thing. But this one the, and the color 
and the color grew on me because I feel like, you know, it's giving me more of that just, you know, like your, your skin tone. Everything kind of balances out if that's making sense, you know. I do like a good bright under eyes some days but i'm not mad it, it photographs really nice i think like that's why that's that's what sold me on the color there the color photographed really nice like it was all you know just just one little melanated melting pot there so i'm here for the color do i want to try another color probably but i'm okay with this one like y'all gonna see this one again probably low-key a lot there but what do they say about this concealer um creamy cushiony concealer full coverage fresh natural finish that lasts all day super blendable loaded with skin loving hyaluronic acid and coconut water oil free dermatologist tested ideal for all skin types okay um creamy yeah, yeah, I would say it was creamy. I think, you know, before I was kind of thrown off because it said like full coverage, but then again, I didn't use that much myself. Again, probably because of the wand. Like, I, again, I like when wands are like that. They probably do make it easier to control how much product you're putting on your face. Um, but I didn't really feel like it was out of the bottle full coverage. Do I think you can get full coverage with this concealer? Absolutely. But at least for me, out of the bottle with how much I put on, um, I had to make sure it was still filming. With how much I put on, I do feel like it was more of like a medium coverage for out of the bottle type thing. But that's just me. You can get full coverage if you want to. If you want even more sheer coverage, um, you probably could just use less or, you know, um, mix in a little moisturizer or stuff like that with your concealer. If you did want more of sheer coverage under your eye, you know, those days where you're not really trying to wear foundation or stuff like that, um, you could still get the same effect with it. It's affordable. It's only $9 there. Um, oh, lost my train of thought there. For the sheer part, if you did want to make it a little bit more sheer, you could, because I feel like since it does have that natural finish that it claims that it does, you can use it up or down either way that you wanted to, and you're gonna get whatever effect you want, and it's still going to look nice on your face. Um, super blendable, it was easy to blend out. Um, I didn't leave it on as long as I've left on some other concealers. So I'm not sure if you do do the whole, you know, leaving concealer on your face thing. I left it on for a bit, but not that long. But I had no issues blending it out. Anything else? Alright, yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, so yeah, I'm feeling this concealer, y'all. Especially since y'all know I love trying out concealers because I feel like I have never found that one that's like my go-to ride or die type of concealer. Certainly not saying this is it yet, but you know, it could be, it could be a contender there, all right, you know, good way to end out the year there. So I think this is gonna be the last concealer that I try this year, probably. I don't know, we'll see where the rest of Vlogmas takes us. Um, is that it? But I mean, I feel like it hasn't separated anything like that in my creasing over here yeah of course i i'm always going to there um but other than that i really don't i really don't have much of any complaints there y'all know i let you know if i if i can ever feel product on my face if it's been slip sliding you know i come back looking like i just did 18 innings nine innings it's been a while since i worked for the yankees y'all um anything else no, I feel like that is it. So, um, I hope seeing me test out this concealer, I was about to say foundation has helped. If any of you were thinking of checking it out for yourself, I did also pick up the foundation. So that'll be part of 12 Days of Foundation Hunt. Um, if you use me as a shade reference, you know, I hope seeing the shade on me helped. And yeah, that is pretty much it. So make sure to thumbs up, comment, and subscribe down below. Thank you all for watching. I will see you in the next one.